My name is Matthew Allen and this is my music video pitch. The pop industry has a problem. The pop music video is dead. Repeatedly, all we see on the likes of YouTube and the ever-dying MTV is these pop music videos that are simply just a grud-looking young singer singing and lip-syncing to their pop song. And while lip-syncing and performance style pop music videos aren't the problem, the problem is the lack of creativity. These music videos have simply become a way to easily produce something that they know is going to get millions of hits on YouTube simply because of the artist that they put out there. Well, I propose that this needs to be fixed. We need some creativity being put back into the music video industry, and here's how we're going to do it. With Yellow Submarine. Why, why Yellow Submarine? Well, Yellow Submarine is a classic. It's so indicative of its time, yet so out there, so left field, that no one could have predicted that it would ever appear on a Beatles album. No one could have predicted the childlike nature when the band was growing ever more psychedelic and ever more wild and crazy, that they would strip back right down to an acoustic guitar some just a snare drum and just Ringo singing his song. It was simple, so simple, yet so brilliant. And what I'm proposing is that we make a music video for Yellow Submarine that is not necessarily anything brand new in the music video industry, but it simply takes those elements that are a part of the industry, the, the lip syncing, the performance style, and just does something fun with them, makes them creative, gives them a bit of flavour, something a bit different from these overproduced white backgrounds and just beautiful looking but so lacking in any depth, anything interesting to look at that they they just lack any sort of creative flair. Well here's what I'm proposing, a music video to Yellow Submarine that is a lo-fi parody with elements of narrative and performance styles. The parody is a parody that I will touch on in a, I will talk about that subject in a second. Uh, the subject matter is a girl band member and a forefront and three of her friends wake up to a house party and uh, they play and perform Yellow Submarine after this, after they wake up from this house party. The audience attraction, well it's an all female cast in a lo-fi music video of a very popular song and the parody of like culture is that um, with with the growing music industry, what we see at the moment is these kind of same songs, and they've perpetuated this culture of laddishness, of of house party laddishness, and essentially what the girls will be doing is mimicking and and mocking this in some flashbacks to that. Uh, how we plan to make it is it's in a house over the course of one day. Uh, there's nothing in the music video that's beyond the capabilities of a student budget, but um, what the focus here is the the visual aspects and how we get the most out of the lo-fi aesthetic and how we communicate that message. The key characters are the teenage female dressed in sunglasses, uh, wearing a snapback and a long check shirt. She's aged 15 to 18, and it's the main character in the music video shows, and she's shown at the end, right in Yellow Submarine. The other three characters are the three of our three friends, uh, and they'll be wearing sort of the same style outfit and be seen at different points in the performance style elements of the thing. And so this is a breakdown of what the music video actually looks like. So verse 1 is all the characters are shown in bed after waking up from the party. The main character wakes up and makes her way to the bathroom filmed as a, a close-up one-shot. The chorus is all four girls playing Yellow Submarine in the bath filmed from one angle with the characters facing their camera performance style. Uh, verse 2 is the main character alone again. She's sorting herself out in the bathroom and then moves into the living room. Uh, chorus 2 is the all four band members are playing the song again. This time they're in the living room. And, and then the instrumental is uh, a montage from the party from the night before. The girls are seen in the bedroom. They wake up dancing and drinking. And verse 3 is a mix of the typical performance style close-ups of instruments and of lip syncing and close-ups of guitars etc. Chorus 3 is performance style again, this time the, cam pan the camera panning across the band as they play 
and chorus four is the main character sitting alone on the sofa playing the song on an acoustic guitar as the camera pulls up because the camera pulls from a close up of the guitar right out to showing her uh, singing the song. I think this will work simply because it's different from anything else out there while still adhering to those same codes and conventions. It's still got the limp lip sync and it's still got the performance style, it's still got a simple narrative, but it takes those things and adds a visual flair to them. And I think that there really is a market for that. There really is a market for, for someone to come in and just make something that's entirely different to any of these other music videos. And that's why I believe that Yellow Submarine is the music video that we should be making.